Today we are going to tackle division and in this video we're going to try a new strategy called partial quotients. And to learn about this strategy we are going to step into a snowball fight. One snowy morning Dat, Quentin, and Johnny spent an hour making their best snow fort. They knew that eventually kids from down the street would attack so they prepared a massive arsenal of snowballs. Before they were finished, they had amassed 72. All right, so let's help these three friends figure out how many snowballs they're each going to get. Okay, and I want to also start by saying that, you know, we're going to try this new strategy, but if you are feeling like you're needing a little bit more help uh, just understanding what division is, I have a video that I just recently made and it is all about drawing equal groups. It's kind of my favorite strategy to start with so that you can really understand division. And I could do a little bit of it on this video, kind of, uh, I'll kind of do a comparison of the two strategies, but you can also go back and watch my first one. All right, so let's dig in. So the partial quotient strategy I like to think of it as a big seven that I drew there on my whiteboard. And then I put the number that we are separating out. So my dividend is what that's called. Um, that 72 is going to go right in the inside there. And then I'm dividing it into the three friends. I'm separating it between three friends. So my three is called the divisor and it goes on the outside there. Okay, and then we just start thinking about um, three groups of different friendly numbers. So that's why I like this strategy. You're going to find out that we use a lot of friendly numbers. And what I mean by friendly are numbers that are easy for you to work with in your head, like 10. We could start with tens or longs if I was drawing groups. So how much is three groups of 10? All right, you got it. That is 30. I'm gonna draw a picture of the equal groups on the side as well, just so we can keep track of what it looks like. So do I have enough snowballs to take away 30? You got it, I do. Okay, then I start thinking about uh, maybe counting by tens and maybe I could go a little bit bigger. So what about if I had, if I went up to 20? So I'm just counting by tens at first because that's kind of the most friendly numbers I can think of. So let's see, can we, uh, or what is three groups of 20? What's three groups of 20? You can count by 20s, or you can just count up all those 10s. Okay, you got it, it's 60. And do I have enough snowballs to give away 60? I do, you're right. Okay, so I'm gonna start with that. I feel like that's as close as I'm gonna get to 72 with counting by 10s. Because I think if I gave them another long, it would be too many snowballs. So here's how I write it in my partial quotients. On the outside, I put the amount that I'm giving the friends. So I'm giving them each 20. And then on the inside, I put 60, the total of snowballs, down below the 72. And the point of doing that is that when I'm dividing, and let's think about it for a minute, when I'm separating into groups, I am repeatedly subtracting snowballs from my big pile and giving them away to friends. So division really is like repeated subtraction. Okay, so now we're gonna subtract that uh, 72 minus 60. I want to see how many snowballs I have left in my pile to give to the uh, uh, to give to the friends. So let's subtract there. 
ooh, I get 12 snowballs left. So now I need to think about um, my three groups. How, what can I do with 12? 12 is a small enough number that I could kind of just start thinking about um, 12 divided by the three groups. So how many do you think each friend would get? Okay, I know some of you said that you think it's four. If you weren't sure, you can always think of the multiplication fact that goes with that fact family. So three times what equals 12? What do you think? All right, you got it. So you agree with that uh, 12 divided by three is four. And I'm gonna draw it over in that picture too, just to kind of show you. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So we were right, they each get four. Okay, so then I'm gonna write that four over on the side. That is just me keeping track of what's in each group, like what each friend is getting. And then total, that was 12 snowballs. And I'm gonna subtract again, and I get zero. So what do you think that means? What happens when we get down to zero when we're doing this strategy? Okay, you might have said that, well, we've separated all the snowballs. We have zero left, which means that they're all in a group and we are done. But now there's one more step. Where do you think the answer lives? You know, when we do the equal groups drawing, we know that the answer is in one group. But where do you think the answer lives in the uh, partial quotient strategy? Ooh, okay, I think you're finding a clue over there on the side, the 20 and the four. If you look at our groups, that's what our group looks like. So let's add those two up and we get 24 snowballs in each group. Okay, awesome, great job. Sure enough, eventually the first wave of attackers launched their assault and the snow fort had to be defended. The enemy general took a snowball to the dome and the pack retreated to regroup. Knowing that they would come back in larger numbers, Dat, Quentin, and Johnny decided to call for reinforcements. Soon, Miles arrived. Together they set about stockpiling more snowballs, and this time they built 244. All right, now let's help them figure out with four friends now how many snowballs they'll each get if there's 244 snowballs total. So this time I think I'm going to not draw the equal groups and just show you another way that I like to keep track of how like my mental math is going. So I'll show you an example. So I know that uh, I'll start with a friendly number. Four times 100, since this number's in the hundreds, I like to start with that. So what is four times 100? Okay, 400. And do we have enough snowballs to take away 400 or to give our friends 400? Okay, you're right, we don't have enough. We only have 200. So that means I'm gonna bump it down to some friendly numbers that are less than 100. So then I like to go down to uh, four times 10. I start with my most friendly numbers. 10 and 100 are so easy to work with. So what is four times 10? 40. Okay, and then I take a look at my number and I think, well, it's, you know, 244. It's kind of big. So I think I need to go a little, I need to go bigger with my friendly numbers because I don't want to start taking away 40. It'll kind of take me a while. So I'm going to go up to, and, and this is where I love the strategy guess and check. Um, guess and check is just trying things out, see what works. Sometimes it doesn't work so well, just like the four times 100, and then you bump it down, and then you might bump it up a little bit and just kind of play around with the numbers. Nothing wrong with trying something out, 
and uh, seeing if it would be a good number. So I think I'm going to try 4 times 50 next, kind of in the middle there. Okay, so to do a problem like this, I like to say, what is four times five? 20, I write that down. And then I look and see, are there any zeros in my factors? You're right, there's one. So I'm gonna put one more in my answer. So 200, and that's a pretty good number to start with, I think. Because look, I have 244 snowballs. That would take care of a really large chunk of them. So let's do that. So let's remember how we write this down. We write the 50 on the side, that's kind of our running record of how many snowballs we have given each person. Okay, then we write the total 200 underneath the 244. And do you remember what we're gonna do? What is division um, really doing? What operation is it repeatedly doing? Okay, you got it, it's subtracting. We're giving away those snowballs. Okay, so we have 44 snowballs left. Now, I look back, it, because I wrote down some of my mental math um, or my friendly numbers, I can look back and I see a clue there that's really helpful. Do you see a number close to 44? Yep, I see 40 there. So I am going to put a 10 along the side and a 40 down below. Then I'm gonna subtract. Oh, and I just have four snowballs left. And uh, how many, if I have four snowballs left, how many more snowballs can each boy get? You're right, just one more snowball. And let's see, four times one is four. And then if I subtract, what do I get? All right, zero snowballs left. I have separated them all out, given them all to the boys. And now how do I get my answer? Can you find the answer in this partial quotient strategy? Okay, I think you're catching on. We add up those numbers along the side. 50 plus 10 plus one is 61. They each get 61 snowballs. Great job. The kids from down the block mounted a second assault and again found themselves under a heavy barrage. Once again, they retreated, vowing to return. To survive the final siege, the crew called for more friends, and thankfully, Vaughn and Big Mike arrived just in time. Once again, the crew built as many snowballs as they could, and eventually had a pile of 438. All right, our last problem. This time we have 438 snowballs in our pile. And now we've got six friends to share it with. So I like how we're getting practice with different divisors. So I'm gonna do this problem. I'm gonna start this problem for you the same way I did the last one. And then I'm gonna have you give it a try on your own for part of it. And then we'll come back and check your work. Okay, so I like to, uh, once again, start with friendly numbers. So I'm gonna do the same thing. So six times 100 is Great, 600, and then I stop and think, is that uh, a good amount of snowballs to take away from our pile? No, unfortunately, we only have 438, so we do not have enough to take away uh, 100. So, or to take away 600, or to give each boy 100. So, let's not use that one. Then I like to think about uh, six times 10 is 60. Okay, once again, just like the last one, that would take us a, a really long time if we kept taking away 60 minus 60 minus 60. It would kind of take us a little while. So I like to try a bigger number. And just so you know, also, one thing that's cool about this um, strategy is that really everyone could go a little bit of a different path through it. Um, 
but still end up with the same answer if you add up all of your amounts on the side. So let's try six times 50. I really like doing uh, 50 just to kind of check something in the middle. Um, so what is six times five? Okay, 30. And then how many zeros do I have in my factors? Just one, so we're gonna put another one in the answer, so 300. So that looks pretty good, but I might try to get a little bit closer. Um, so let's see, six times 60, I might check that one next. What is six times six? And since you know six times five, you could just add six more. Okay, good, 36. And then there's a zero in there, so we're gonna put a zero on the end. 360, I wonder if we could get closer. Let's keep going. Six times 70. And you know, if you ever kept going and it went over, you, you would know for sure that you picked the right one, so it's okay to do that. Um, okay, six times seven. Let's do that first. And remember, you know, six times six is 36. So you could count up from there, six more. Okay, good, 42. And with a zero on the end, yep. Okay, that looks like the closest we're gonna get um, because 420 is so close to 438. So let's stop there. And I'm going to let you take it from here. Use our mental math that we just worked on to help you start the partial quotients. Give it a shot and then we'll come back and check your work. All right, take a look at my work. If you're not quite ready, you can always pause and see if you can uh, finish real quick. But let's check your work with mine. The kids from down the block launched their final assault and more snowballs than ever rained down upon them. With teamwork, dedication, and an insane number of snowballs, the crew had successfully defended their Ford. Woohoo! And you helped them figure out how many snowballs they each got. Great job! All right. Well, great job today learning about this uh, new division strategy called partial quotients. I hope you enjoyed the snowball fight, and I hope you learned something. Bye!